Tonight. Yeah. yeah, I mean, obviously, I think again when you bring Jody into the lineup, where well, you've got Alex in the lineup, they stretch the team out, and Ali just is more effective underneath, you know, and sinks up effective underneath. Ali and Sink link well in that area of the field, and you know, Ali was good again coming from deep and caused a lot of problems, I think, coming from deep tonight. And I mean, the second one was a great goal. Um, the first one, I mean, She's got to be there, haven't you, really? You know, cross your fingers, it pops out for you. And But she's brought a lot to the team. And her work rate's back to where it was, the level of the first six, eight weeks of the season. And, uh, it's a good sign that she's, she's in really good form at this point as we start to bring everybody back. And, um, you know, it's good that Jody got 60 minutes too, which is going to be a huge help down the road. And obviously, Alex is getting closer to fitness. So the more we can stretch him, the better Ali will be. How, how big was it uh, to move up with the win and now be tied with Kansas City for fourth? Yeah, I mean, for us, I mean, obviously we had a, a rough a rough spell in the middle of the season. And, um, you know, as I said last week, it's a work in progress for us. We're trying to bring players into the team. Leanne just arrived uh, yesterday. So for us, or two days ago, for us to bring them into the team, it just takes time, a little bit of time. And um, No, I'm happy with the, the way the group's progressed. And I think the back three have got used to playing in the back three. Now the wing backs have got used to tucking in. I thought Mac and Tobin did a good job wrapping around tonight and getting good areas going forward too. Uh, so I think it's just all the pieces are coming together and I think the best one to feel for is probably Kaylin Carlton. I think she anchored the midfield really well. Um, uh, uh, ably supported by Sinead, I think she did a good job and obviously Ali uh, provided the goals for it. And I think the work rates, the work rate is good. We made it difficult for Chicago. They're a good side, man. They got a lot of speed up front and you know they got they went with the front three, they've been playing in the diamond. We had a feeling they would go with three up front and they spread us out and uh, I thought the back three equipped themselves really well. Emily had a, you know, players getting better by the game. Emily and Kat have uh, been very consistent so far in the season. So overall, good display against a very good side. And they've only lost one game all season. They're, they're going to be tough. And uh, that's why they're in the place they are in the league. The league doesn't lie. So. You mentioned Kaylin Kyle. Can you speak a little bit more as to what her influence is as either a stability role in the defense or just the kind of confidence she gives not just the midfield but also the yeah, I think three. if you ask anyone on the team what, what's Kaylin Cowell's strength the strength is she always wants the ball she makes great runs she's always open if you look at the game team she's always in good area of the field always wants the ball she's awfully good in the air if you probably saw tonight and her distribution's good you know the one thing we've tried to improve is just speed of play with her ability to switch the play range of passing there the little things that we've challenged her uh, with to get her even better but I mean she's been a huge plus for us coming into the lineup I think the last couple of weeks and um, you know, she had a hamstring problem when we got her back from the World Cup, and uh, now she's over that, and you can see the difference in her. I think the last couple of weeks, and you know, again, Claire's settling in. She's getting better game by game. It's difficult coming in from that World Cup, and I think uh, you know, Sink has maybe made Kaylin feel comfortable too. Sink coming back in the lineup, and uh, I'm happy with the midfield. I think that you know, Sinead, Ali, and Mona were, were you know carrying the group, and I think Kaylin's taking a little bit of pressure off them. Sink's taking a little bit of pressure off them. Claire's taking a little bit of pressure off them, uh, and Tobin Heath was. I mean, I got to see her GPS numbers tonight. She was all over the place tonight. But I mean, hats off to the to the players. They, they worked their socks off tonight against a good side. I mean, you know, Chicago they unravel the game with 20 minutes to go, and all of a sudden the balls are getting pinged in, and you know they go four up front, five up front, six up front. Julie Johnson's running through the midfield with the ball, and I mean Julie Johnson's unbelievable tonight. Kristen Press is a handful. Uh, Tank was a handful. Tank Grady, and she's got a lot of good players. But I thought we handled them pretty well considering the amount of pace they've got up front. You guys. You guys will have to quickly turn around now uh, yeah. and face Kansas City. How important um, will it be to ha go in there now that you're tied with them for fourth place and have a good performance? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's consistency of performance that we've been looking for. We started to get a little bit more consistency throughout the groups from, from the goalkeeper right through the front line. Um, Kansas is a good side. Obviously, I know a lot of the players well. A lot of them played for me before. And, um, you know, they've, they've got all their World Cup players. They're integrating probably as much as Chicago is and as much as we are in terms of the most integration of the, anyone in the league. Um, you know, we haven't been so successful on the road, but you know, we go to Kansas in great spirits, with great confidence, and you know, we don't arrive till late tomorrow night in, in Kansas. But you know, I've told the group that you know, when you, it's sometimes it's better to get the games one after the other. You're winning games, you feel like you can just go on the field, make a couple of changes, and we'll be fine. And I think that the conferences throughout the lineup, they feel like they they can get the job done now. And, um, I think we're uh, we're in a good we're in a good spot, and you know Kansas is not going to be an easy game by any stretch of the imagination. But you know, everyone's got tough games ahead of them. We've got four left. We're just worried about Kansas getting points in Kansas and getting home, and we've got ten days off after that. Can you talk about uh, Michelle Betos and 
you know, your decision to continue starting her even after the World Cup, what is it about the way she's playing? Yeah, I just think the team right now is comfortable with her, you know. And, you know, obviously against Seattle, we played, uh, Michelle played the home Seattle game, Nadine played the away Seattle game. Basically, told brother to her mother and said, whoever wins first is going to stay in the lineup. Michelle was the next up, she won the game. and. Uh, she's been here a little bit longer. I feel like she's a bit more comfortable with the back line. It's hard to keep swapping because they're very different, not very different, but they're definitely different. Uh, and the defense plays different when one's behind them. And they just seem comfortable right now. Nadine's been very professional. She's been great in training. In all honesty, when you watch them in training, you're like, wow, they're just two of them are, are, are really top, top goalkeepers. And I think it's just about comfortability. But, um, you know, I think there's competition throughout the squad. And when there's competition, everybody's playing well. And, now when you go to practice, it's a whole different world than it was a month and a half ago. And uh, you know when you're chasing Tobin Heath and instead of chasing somebody else, it's not quite that level. It's a different game, and I think just everybody's on their toes. Practice yesterday was fantastic. Went for 35, 40 minutes, and I mean you think they were playing for a World Cup, but that's how competitive it's got. And you know I think Nadine and Michelle, they're, they're competitive players. Nadine's going to be professional and wait for opportunity. And you know maybe it comes. Who knows? You know could be on Wednesday, it depends on what happened Wednesday, it could be the next game, but she's got to stay around, you just never know what's going to happen. Do you think Jody will be ready to go 90 on Wednesday, and can you actually give any, uh, shed any light on Cat? I don't know anything about Cat, obviously, it's just finished the game. Um, no, uh, no, there's no way Jody will be able to go 60 or 90 probably, and we were surprised she would get 60 out of it, we kept it up at half time, we didn't let her sit down at half time, and just try to keep her loose, you know, obviously you can see how important she is. I mean, would have been great to throw Alex in the last half an hour, you know, because obviously we keep him stretched a little bit. And, um, you know, we gave Leanne a run tonight, and Leanne's really a number 10, you know, underneath. But, um, you know, we just told her just get up high and cause some problems. And, you know, she can't kill the game. She's clever at that. And the last 10, 15, she got to get into corners with Tobin and the two of them having a bit of fun in the corners, you know. But, um, yeah, I mean, you, you, you need Jody fully healthy. You need Alex fully healthy. You need Steph Cavley fully healthy. Um, if you can just get those three fully healthy with the rest of the squad, I think we've got some depth in. And, you know, we don't have a, a, a ton of options to change in Kansas, but there's going to be some sore bodies, I think, by the time we get to Kansas tomorrow night. And we'll evaluate. You know, they've got a pool session tomorrow. We'll evaluate Tuesday and, and then go from there what we're going to do. What's the timeline on uh, Alex and stuff? Uh, Alex is, well, I don't have a timeline on Alex, but I'm hoping pretty soon she starts to train now. Um, she's not going into the competitive element of training, the progression there yet, but uh, we're happy with her. She's got a, she's been great in the locker room with us, and I think a half an hour chat with her this afternoon, and she's eager to get back on the field, and um, I, th I think you'll see it, you know, a couple of games from now, but she'll 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 play. Right. She and what about, play. what about Steph? Steph is probably a little bit further away, I think, than Alex. I think Alex might be closer than Steph, and I'm hoping to get them both back by Sky Blue, and if we could get before, it'd be even better, you know. Um, you know, we'd like to be at full strength now. It would be a huge help, obviously, with these games so close together. But it is what it is, and we've been juggling it all season. So another couple of games, I guess, we'll just keep juggling, keep on moving from there.